Hello friends, welcome back. Now in this video we are going to work with permissions. And right now we have only the create post permission. And inside the roles we have the moderator, writer and the admin, which is not showing here. And the moderator doesn't have any permission yet. And also the writer, yeah. Now what I'm going to do, just to demonstrate to you, I'm going to create a new user here because I am as admin here. And let's say just a test user. Test, test uh, example.com. Let's add the today and I'm going to add the password. I'm not going to assign any roles to this one only the permission which is the create post and let's say create okay now i'm going to sign out and assign assigning with this test example.com this as you know this has only the create post permission and we don't use that in our uh, app yet so let's say Test example.com and add the password. Right now we have forbidden first. Okay. And let's go in our code. Set the models when we have uh, the user model and we have this can access filament. I'm going to uncomment this and leave all the users to see right now that when we are going to change that later. Okay, and also we need to remove this implement and save. Go back and refresh and yeah, here we are, but we don't see nothing and because we are as a test user, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the ability to see the, this user, which has a create post, to see the post and also to create a new post. So for that, we need to go in the post policy and in the view. Any here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say to check if the user has the role or the user has that uh, permission create post. For that, I'm going to create an if statement here and if the user, and just let me move this line of code inside here. If the user has the role admin writer or moderator, Or I'm going to say, or the user has permission to create posts like this. And if that is true, I'm going to return true. Otherwise, I'm going to return false. And the same I'm going to do also on the create. And let's see. Go back, refresh. Yeah, we see the post and we have the ability to create a new post here. Very good. So let's create a new test post. Yeah, everything works correctly. Well, that's it's okay, but uh, as you can see, we check if the user has the role or the user has permission. And if you go to the Laravel permission in the documentation, uh, we can see a best practice role versus the permissions. And here we have roles can still be used the group permission for easy assignment of the user model. But we have an example here. Users 
have roles. We assign roles to users and roles have permissions. And your app will always check for permissions, so not roles. So for that, what I'm going to do, let's go back and I'm going to sign out and sign in as admin. And let's go to the roles moderator and I'm going to assign create permission, create posts permission, save changes. Let's go to the writer and also here create posts, but also let's create more permissions. Create and delete. So delete posts and also update posts. Let's see. Uh, update post. Now we have three permissions. Let's go to the roles and to the moderator also. I'm going to add the delete and the update. And now we have create, delete, update post, save changes. Go to the writer, the same thing. Not the writer, I'm going just to add the create and the update post, not the delete. Good. Now in the post model, instead of checking if the user has a role, I'm going to check only the user, if the user has permission to create posts and can create the post or here the view. Also, let's create a, for the view, let's go to the permission and new permission. I'm going to say view post and let's add also this permission to the moderator and also to the writer. And with that now we are going to do in the view any just we are going to check if the user has permission to view post is more simple and let's do the same thing here just in case okay then the create post we just check if the user has permission to create post here if the user has permission to update the post or edit the post, we can say and for the delete, we can say if the user has permission to delete the post. Save, come here and refresh. We, right now we are admin, as you can see here, and we don't see any post because the admin role doesn't have the permissions. But for that, we are going to make some changes. Let's go here. So in the Spati Laravel permission documentation and go to the defining a super admin. And here I'm going to copy this line. And we need to go in the auth server service provider and add in the boot method at this line of code. So let's come here. Providers our service provider and in the boot method, we need to add gate and we need to import the gate. Oh yeah, we have here. Okay, so get, get before a closure, we get the user and re return if the user has role, not super admin, but just admin. And with that, now if I come here and refresh, we have the post. So all the permissions is going to belong to this uh, user. So this user is super admin, have all the permissions. Okay, now let's sign out 
and let's sign in with uh, moderator. Let's add the password. Sign in. Let's go to the post. As a moderator, we have the edit, delete, and create new post, and we see all the posts. Good. Let's sign out and let's see us the writer. As a writer, we have we see all the posts, we have the new post button and the edit, not the delete. So very good. And let's sign in as a test user now for last time. Add the password. And as a test user, we don't see either the we don't see the post here because we don't added the view post permission to this user. Okay. So let's go and log in as admin. So here to the users, this test user has only the permission to create a post, but not to see all the posts. Or to update and delete. So let's say also he can view posts and save changes. Now, if we go and sign in with that user, so with a test user, this user can see the posts and can create new posts only. And you can play with the permission now. This is the tutorial how we can use the Spati Laravel permission package with uh, filament admin panel. I hope you enjoy and see you in the other tutorials. All the best friends and thank you very much for following me.